Сокольники Самары, огромное спасибо вам получили вот нам наши друзья привезли вашу помощь, в общем, то, которую вы собирали. This is the Russian side of the front line in the war between Russia and Ukraine. There are dozens of boxes piled up outside this building, some with a Z written on them, a symbol of support for the war. Among sleeping bags and camouflage netting, there are packages from French brands Auchan and Leroy Merlin. They're two brands owned by France's Mullier Group, and both feature in the top 10 biggest foreign companies in Russia. Unlike other companies, these two brands chose to keep operating in the country after the invasion of Ukraine. They both released a statement justifying the decision. Our job is to meet the essential food needs of the civilian population. We see no reason to penalize our Russian staff for a war that they did not choose. But Auchan, and to a lesser extent, Laurent Merlin, are not just trying to help their customers and employees. Le Monde, in partnership with Bellingcat and The Insider, got access to internal emails and eyewitness accounts in Auchan's Russian branch, and verified photos and videos published on social media. We found evidence that products sold by the two companies are being sent to Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine. In the case of Auchan, these documents are proof that management could not be totally unaware of where these products were going. And they show how managers even organized donation drives themselves. This video was filmed in the Kherson region in Ukraine. It shows Russian soldiers loading boxes into a truck. Residents of the Russian city of Voronezh sent these boxes, destined for Russian troops. They contain cans of food, boots and other clothing. Ever since 2014 and the start of the war in the Donbass, charitable organizations in Russia have been collecting humanitarian aid. Aid for civilians who have been affected by the fighting, but also for soldiers on the front lines. In the boxes, there are clothes, cans, bottles of gas, and tools like these pickaxes from Le Roi Merlin. Some deliveries also include military products, like these flak jackets. Auchan is a low-cost brand in Russia and is likely to be chosen by people who want to donate to the war effort. In the town of Samara, volunteers have been running a drop-off point for donations in an Auchan store since November 2022. It's set up here, just in front of the store's checkouts. Donated goods are piled up in Auchan shopping carts. You can see signs supporting the wall clearly indicating what these donations are for. Photos posted on social media show people posing the Auchan products that they're donating to the war effort. Elsewhere, the brand is even marked as a partner in these collections. In the city of Vladimir, to the east of Moscow, this charity collects and delivers goods to the front lines. It thanked Auchan on social media for its help collecting donations. The Auchan chain is a new partner. In this photo, you can see private label products from the Auchan brand in the boxes. In the other, Sergei C, a manager at the charity, poses with Alexei S, a store security guard, in front of the same truck. In response to our questions, Auchan insisted that no collections took place with Auchan's agreement and did not take place in stores. The company added that its stores do not provide any voluntary and active assistance to any categories of consumers other than the Russian civil population. However, we know that as well as charity donations, the company itself organized donation drives of its own products, presented as humanitarian aid 
with a value of several tens of thousands of euros. Le Monde verified an internal email exchange at Auchan that shows exactly that. These emails were sent to us by Alexei R., a former Auchan employee in St. Petersburg, who is now in exile in Europe. In total, at least 20 employees for Auchan Russia received this email. Including Yevgenia Storozheva, the director for the improvement of operations in Auchan's northern division. Two levels above her is Laurent Proust, the French director of sales in Russia. On March 15, 2022, less than three weeks after the invasion of Ukraine, the first email is sent. Natalia Z, a management accountant, asked five Auchan stores in St. Petersburg in the Northern Division to cooperate with the project. Dear colleagues, please collect donations for humanitarian aid from the attached list. Her request comes with a list of products on an Excel spreadsheet. On the first page, there are a dozen products with their corresponding Auchan reference numbers. The second page shows the quantity of each product and the store providing it. At least one metric tonne of goods was collected in total, with a value of more than 2 million rubles, which is around 27,000 euros. Other emails discussed the logistics of collecting and transporting the goods. A photo sent by an employee shows that the products, here disposable razors, are packaged in boxes marked humanitarian aid. The emails also mention three drivers and their vehicles. They have to deliver the products to a sixth Auchan store, also in St. Petersburg. We were able to confirm that at least one of these trips took place. The license plate mentioned in the email belongs to a truck transporting goods, this one. The truck's driver told us that he had delivered humanitarian aid to St. Petersburg for his client Auchan on that date. Did Auchan managers in Russia know where these donations were going? Alexei R. tells us that they did. He was the one who sent us these documents. On March 22, 2022, trucks came to bring humanitarian aid to the Auchan Severny store in St. Petersburg. I asked the manager what was the end destination. She replied, think about it. How can you not know? I replied that I had no idea about the final destination. She said, it's for the special military operation, unfortunately. Even without this eyewitness account, the type of products being collected indicates that they're going to the military front. Canned meat, biscuits, coffee. These are products that are often in photos of donations for the army. The sizes of hundreds of pairs of socks in the list are also revealing. There are no pairs under a size 40, and most are 43 or 44. This stock isn't meant for women or children. There are also 3,500 packets of cigarettes, a very popular item among soldiers. On top of that are axes, nails and bottles of methane gas. Things that are more often used for camping outside than for helping families and refugees. In comparison, other collections for refugees contain products like children's clothes, toys and baby formula. There are no products like that in Auchan's list. Auchan denies that it organised these donation drives. The company added, As with any buyer, Auchan has no way of knowing how purchased products are used. March 23, 2022. Volodymyr Zelensky speaks to France's parliament, pleading. French companies must leave the Russian market. Renault, Auchan, Leroy Merlin and all of the other groups have to stop sponsoring the Russian war machine. 
Renault sells its stake and leaves, but Auchan and Leroy Merlin from the Mullier Group choose to stay in Russia. A few months later, Vladimir Putin declares partial mobilization in the country. According to Russian law, companies operating in the country now have to provide buildings, communications equipment, land, means of transport, and other material goods in accordance with the mobilization. Other companies shut up shop, like Danone, which sold 90% of its business there, but not the Mullier Group. Almost a year after the war started, Le Monde's investigation with Bellingcat and The Insider shows that Le Roi Merlin and Auchan products are still being sent to Russian troops on the front lines. So why did these French companies stay in Russia? Russia accounts for a large part of the group's revenue. It's one of their most important markets after France. In 2021, at least 20% of Laurent Merlin's turnover was made in Russia, compared to around 10% for Auchan. The two companies said that they had suspended all new investments in Russia since the war began. But from what we found out, the group isn't just maintaining operations in Russia. In Vladimir, a city to the east of Moscow, a new Le Roi Merlin store is under construction. Building work started on February the 4th, 2022, three weeks before the invasion of Ukraine. When asked, the company said that the new store wouldn't open as planned in spring 2023. Building work, however, carried on until November 2022, as these satellite images show. 